So cancer starving foods, regenerative foods, gut health foods that can also help your brain, foods that slow down cellular aging, foods that lower inflammation and boost your immune system at the same time. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Circulation, make blood circulate. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Especially when it comes to your circulation, a healthy breakfast can make a world of difference. That was Dr. William Lee, a leading authority on the power of food as medicine. Dr. Lee isn't just about fad diets. He focuses on specific ingredients with the power to improve your body's circulation, the intricate network that delivers oxygen and nutrients throughout your system. Think of him as a culinary cardiologist, transforming your breakfast plate into a vibrant landscape for vascular health. Dr. Lee's research delves into the science behind blood vessel function and how food choices can impact it. In today's video, we're about to explore four delicious Dr. Lee-inspired breakfasts packed with circulation-boosting power. First though, Dr. Lee will tell us a little bit about a couple of ingredients in the first breakfast. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Tomatoes, a great source of vitamin C2, which supports immunity. You can use whole tomatoes, big tomatoes, small ones, tomato sauce, tomato paste. They're good for salads, stews, pastas, vegetarian dishes, and great for your immunity. Next ingredient. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has its good source of dietary fiber. Good morning. Welcome to the Mickey's Breakfast Jamboree. And now for the first breakfast for circulation. One, smoke salmon scramble with power greens. Ingredients. Scrambled eggs with a drizzle of olive oil. Add flax smoked salmon for protein and omega-3s. Next, sautéed chopped kale and spinach. Add sliced cherry tomatoes for a touch of sweetness and antioxidants. Serve with a side of sourdough toast. Why it's circulation friendly. Leafy greens and tomatoes offer antioxidants that support circulation. Now, Dr. Lee will speak to a few ingredients in the second breakfast. I, I also want to point out, particularly as people are getting older, that soy in its whole form, like edamame, or its fermented forms like tofu and tempeh, mm -hmm. um, etc., they're good sources of protein as well. And, you know, mm -hmm. we talk about all the bioactives and all that stuff. But let's not forget about the fact that we need good, healthy intake of protein. That's something that is so important as we age mm. to have the proper amount. You know, you don't want to overload yourself on protein, but you also don't want to ignore some of these plant-based foods. You know, people go, well, you know, if you're telling me not to eat red meat, well, I'm not going to be having that much protein. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, soy foods, nuts and legumes, great sources of healthy proteins uh, as well. So let's not forget about that. Next ingredient. Um, but cabbage is a member of the brassica family and it contains sulforaphane. Sulforaphane improves your circulation, helps to uh, uh, improve your metabolism as well, and uh, it's good for your immunity. I love breakfast. And now for the second breakfast to improve circulation. Two, Pacific oyster and edamame bowl. Ingredients cooked Pacific oysters for protein, zinc, and omega 3s. Add steamed edamame pods for additional protein and fiber. Toss in chopped red cabbage and shredded carrots for added vitamins and crunch. Drizzled with a light sesame oil and vinegar dressing. Served over a bed of brown rice or quinoa. Why it's circulation friendly. Pacific Oyster provides protein and omega-3s. Cabbage and edamame offer protein, fiber, and vitamins. Dr. Lee will now tell us a bit about a few ingredients in the third breakfast. All right, and berries. And berries. I put berries in there because I'll tell you, the amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, and that's why candies, I just, there, are can, there are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the, the, the thing about berries though, is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols that are 
kick ass. So like, and, and dietary fiber as well, of course. Uh, the the key thing is, you know, people always say, well, is a sugar in, in berries going to be harmful or in fruit going to be harmful? You know, this is where all not all calories are the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars, which are most for most people, your body can actually tackle. You're getting all this other benefits uh, that, that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it. Right. So that's the key thing. Sugar isn't all sugar because the, the thing that is contained in is going to be different. Next ingredient. Pecans. I love these because you can eat them as a snack, sprinkle them to a salad or bake with them. And they've got fiber and omega-3 fats that support immunity. Next ingredient. It's breakfast. It's breakfast time. The third breakfast for circulation. Three. Berry chia seed smoothie with nuts and seeds. Ingredients. Blend of frozen berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries for antioxidant plant-based milk such as almond milk, macadamia nut or oat milk. Sprinkle with chia seeds for protein and fiber. Add a scoop of almond butter for healthy fats and protein. Topped with chopped nuts, pecans, or walnuts and a sprinkle of ground flaxseed for additional fiber and omega-3s. Why it's circulation friendly. Berries are packed with antioxidants that benefit circulation. Flaxseed, which is optional, offers additional omega-3s. Dr. Lee will speak to a few ingredients in the fourth breakfast and what makes them special. Turmeric which is a kind of a, a root. Um, when you cut it open, it's this bright, beautiful, bright orange, a lovely color. And, and turmeric is also a dried spice used in Southeast Asian cuisine, uh, including Indian cuisine is where I first became acquainted with it. It um, uh, not only makes food beautiful, it actually makes food delicious. It's got a quite a, a lovely taste to it. It's a, it's a spice. Inside uh, turmeric, is curcumin. Curcumin is one of those natural chemicals, kind of like lycopene. It's one of those mother nature's treasure chests, mother nature's pharmacy with an F, not a PH. And the 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 the, the curcumin has a lot of properties, anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Um, it uh, uh, actually is helpful for your stem cells as well. It's It really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome. Next ingredient. Mushrooms. These increase protective antibodies in your saliva and ward off infection. White butt mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, shiitake, they're all good. And here's the thing, the good stuff is in the stems as well as the cap, so make sure you eat both. You can saute them, make them into a soup, or put them into pasta. Breakfast be lovely. And now the final breakfast for circulation. Four, tofu scramble with power greens and whole wheat toast. Ingredients. Crumbled firm tofu sautéed with turmeric and nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor. Chopped spinach, kale, and mushrooms added for vitamins and fiber. Served over whole wheat or sourdough toast drizzled with olive oil. Add a side of sliced cherry tomatoes for a touch of sweetness and antioxidants. Why it's circulation friendly. Turmeric boasts anti-inflammatory properties, which can support blood vessel health. Leafy greens and tomatoes offer antioxidants, and olive oil provides healthy fats. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.